Give me five minutes of your time and I will share something about life, God, and the Bible. In Matthew 10, Jesus commissions his followers to do a short-term mission. They are to take Jesus' message to Israel. What is Jesus' message? Jesus challenges us to put him first. How do we put Jesus first? Matthew 10, 32-33 Whoever acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my Father in heaven. And who, but whoever disowns me before others, I will disown before my Father in heaven. In the past three years, we have been challenged to trust Jesus more because of the pandemic. We have been challenged to acknowledge Jesus as Lord. When we do this, he will take care of us and keep us safe. During the pandemic, we were confined to our homes. We had to work remotely from home. We also had to make sure that members of our families were safe at home. We had to trust God to protect us and our families. Yet the flip side of this was that God, in a mysterious way, brought us closer to our families, even though we might not have been able to see them in person. Amy is not her real name. Amy lives and works in Singapore. She shares her account of how God looked after her in 2020, the first year of the pandemic. The year 2020 may have come to an end, but it will not be easily forgotten. It was a year that brought horrific pain, loss, and change in the lives of many. But the pandemic also brought about positive change. Working from home helped some people realize that they have missed spending time with family and friends. Many who used to spend hours working late have started to appreciate a better balance between work and home life. The pandemic has also highlighted the importance of mental health, so often neglected in a highly competitive society. Seeing so many people suffering from the effects of the pandemic, I have strongly felt the call to join mental health volunteers to help others overcome their adversity. Sometimes a listening ear or an encouraging word can make a positive difference in someone's life. In Ephesians 4, 11 through 16, God calls on different people to come together to provide works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up as each part, part does its work in love. God can turn ashes into beauty through people from all work, walks of life bending together in love to make a difference in the lives of others. Therefore, in a strange way, during the pandemic, we were taught to put Jesus first before others. We had to commit to Jesus the safety of members of our family, families and trust God to take care of them. We also had to trust God in other areas of life. Could we survive the pandemic financially and emotionally? Could we keep our jobs? Could we keep our houses? Would God look after us in all areas of life? Yet today we praise God that we have survived the pandemic. We still face challenges in our lives. However, we are thankful that God has carried us through this pandemic. As Jesus sends his followers on this short-term mission, he gives them this assurance. Matthew 10, 29 through 31. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground outside your father's care. And even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. So, don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. We are worth more than many sparrows to God. God looks after us. We matter. We matter to God. Amen.